Gundam, you're late on this. You suck. It's old news now. This came out on Game Rant the 21st. What? Oh no! It was so ridiculous that I posted it up on my Twitter and on my Discord and I walked away. I didn't even read it past the headline. Which was Metal Gear Survive makes you pay for additional saves. And I know what you're gonna fucking sit there and say. Oh, Gundam, most MMORPGs make you pay for additional saves. Yeah, when you have something like 5 to 10 characters already, then they make you pay for an additional save. Hell, Black Desert gives some of them away. <clears throat> and that game is full of microtransactions. This is just utterly redundant. It's repugnant, actually. It's horrible. Who? was working at Konami and thought that this was a good idea. Who the fuck was the asshole? Who was that guy? Who could sit there and say, you know, everyone's really mad at us right now. I mean, we put out the pachinko machine with the Fox engine recreating Metal Gear Solid 3 moments, but not putting out a game with that because people would have actually fucking wanted it. Konami copyright claims anything you put up with their game footage. That's why you never see me playing any video of Metal Gear Solid. Because frankly, Konami and Nintendo will immediately claim the revenue on the video or block it. I just talked about Zelda on an emulator and Nintendo blocked the video completely. So Nintendo could go fuck itself. Basically, fans now have access to the game and they're finding out that microtransactions extend beyond the performance boosters. There are also microtransactions for anyone who wants to create another save character. Uh, this comes out to 1000 SV coins. That's $10, roughly, American. So $10 to create a spare character. Or if you want to have another character, you have to delete your previous character. And what the fuck is the fun of that? Anyone that plays MMORPGs usually has multiple characters with multiple class specs. It's just a natural thing. But Konami decides in all of their wisdom that it would be a good idea to charge people extra money for this. Frankly, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. Who am I kidding? There's nothing I can say. I would say boycott the game, but frankly, the people who are going to play it are going to play it no matter what because there are some people who just genuinely love the shit out of Metal Gear. I used to be one of them. But after Metal Gear Solid Five, I was done. I was like, this is the last Metal Gear game for me. This is a piece of shit. If Kojiyama or Konami want me to buy another Metal Gear game, it better be a remake of Metal Gear 1 in the Fox Engine or 3 in the Fox Engine or maybe the uh, Vita games. I ain't fucking with nothing else. Because odds are it'll be crap with microtransactions or it'll shoehorn in some celebrity voice actors that barely fart on the fucking mic and get paid absorbent amounts of money for it. And I'm supposed to be excited and shit. Oh, Keith, you're seller than grunted. <clears throat> Quiet! What great work. Also, Metal Gear Solid Survive has a really weird EULA that includes a stipulation that you can't date people that you met in game. What the fuck is this? What the fuck type of Eula is that? This is just how touch, out of touch Konami is. Konami has no clue what the fuck's going on. They don't know what to do. And I don't think they frankly care that much about video games anymore. They really don't. They're just shitting out whatever, throwing some microtransactions. If they cared, there'd be a decent Castlevania game out right now or something. But no. A stipulation you can't date someone you met in the game. If you actually found someone to date on Metal Gear Solid Survive, I'd be damned amazed and say you may as well marry the person because you ain't gonna have luck like that again because I highly doubt anybody's gonna be dying to play this shit for long. Nostra Gundam predicts this game will be dead in a year. We'll forget it existed. It'll become like a meme. Oh God. In other ridiculous gaming news right now, 
This one came out the 22nd, literally a day after the Metal Gear Solid Survive shenanigans. As you already know, there was already the Long Island legislator looking to try and put a special 10% tax on violent video games in the wake of school shootings. Because that's gonna stop school shootings. 10% extra tax on violent video games, that's gonna deter Johnny. Johnny, who's been getting his ass kicked at school, day in, day out, you know, comes home one day, steals his dad's AR-15, but first he goes on Steam to buy, I don't know, some sort of fucking game, and then he sees that 10% extra tax on the fucking violent video game, and he says to himself, Oh man, this has got to stop. I can't do this. The fuck is that 10% gonna do? Oh, uh, now I remember. They're gonna supposedly funnel it to schools. Like schools ever get any fucking funding. I swear to God, they cut more school f fucking programs with Trump in office than a little bit. Especially in impoverished areas. But you know, we're gonna make it all back by taxing people who play violent video games. Good fucking work, you dipshit. He is full of venom and rage. So Trump then came out because Trump is what Trump does. A meme that became president. And in all of his wisdom, decided to hop on the easy bandwagon. If you want points in the political system, jump out there and basically say violent video games are responsible for all the bad things happening. This game is too violent! All the parents and old people who have no clue about video game culture absolutely fucking zero will completely support you and say this needs to stop this is the reason for everything instead of these motherfuckers possibly looking at themselves and going maybe just maybe i'm a shit provider maybe just maybe i shouldn't have had a kid at 16 i don't know just some thoughts maybe it's my fault for not paying attention to my son when he seemed like he was troubled instead i just bought him whatever and didn't really talk to him about his problems or chastised him. That's what my parents did. I get my ass beat from school. I got yelled at for getting my clothes dirty. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> when I got knocked out and I hit the ground and fell down a fucking hill into mud. Please forgive me for not somehow regaining consciousness like Dragon Ball Z and flying up above the mud puddle. I'm a dumbass. So anyway, Trump had this to say. How they're seeing it and also video games. I'm hearing more and more people say the level of violence on video games is really shaping young people's thoughts. And then you go the further step, and that's the movies. You see these movies, they're so violent, and yet a kid is able to see the movie if sex isn't involved, but killing is involved, and maybe they have to put a rating system for that. What? Oh my God, that's fucking real. Maybe we need to put a rating system for that? What the fuck are you talking about? There's a rating system. What planet is he on? And it proves with enough money and power, you too can become president. You don't actually have to be intelligent. Just have money and power. Now the Bush family's proven it time and time again. And you, you know, you get into a whole very complicated, very big deal. But the fact is that you are having movies come out that are so violent with the killing and everything else that maybe that's another thing we're going to have to discuss. And This trailer makes me want to mix Tide Pods and rat poison with bleach to make a fruit cocktail to kill myself. But do you want to get a gun and shoot a school? No. Then we don't care. A lot of people are saying it. You have these movies today where you can go and have a child see the movie and yet it's so violent and so disgusting. I really don't know what planet he came from. It's as if, it's if, it's if, it's if Trump doesn't realize there's already a rating system for movies and video games. If a child somehow sees a violent movie, that's no one's fault but the fucking parents. Plain and fucking simple. Why do we need more government to govern our lives? What, do we need the government to be parents for the parents? Do we need the government to watch your children for you because you're too busy on fucking Snapchat making yourself look like a ga goddamn puppy for a dating app after that? Look at all the puppy pictures I took of myself. Oh no, Lil Billy saw a violent movie. Maybe if I got my fucking stupid ass off this damn phone and paid attention to my child, I might know what the hell's up. It reminds me of something Chris Rock once said. Maybe if the baby knew something more about their mother rather than saying, Mommy, be back, everything would be better. If a baby calling a grandma a mom and the mother Pam something wrong. So anyway, after uh, Trump's brilliant assessment of the situation, 
By the way, The Rock is responsible for violent school shootings. But it was a nice little rebuttal from a kid who survived the school shooting. This is someone who was actually in the school shooting, and he's still saying, yeah, the violent video games aren't the problem. Chris, uh, moments ago, the president over at the White House meeting with local and state officials, uh, he said that uh, in part he was blaming uh, that there's an element out there that blames these violent video games and movies uh, uh, that are seen obviously by a lot of the youth of America for generating this kind of violence. Uh, you're part of the youth of America. What's your response to that? Uh, that's just a really pathetic excuse on the uh, on behalf of the president. I grew up playing video games, you know, Call of Duty, all those kind of first person shooter games. And I would never, ever dream of taking the lives of any of my peers. So it's just it's pathetic. This is someone who was shot out of the school saying, yeah, it wasn't the violent video games. I don't think that's a good excuse. It's pathetic. That's sad. Basically, at this point, it seems like all the politicians who take a pretty big contribution from the NRA are scrambling to find scapegoats in the wake of all these school shootings. And there was also, what was that last shooting that went on? The guy who shot up like a country music festival or some shit. I mean, really. I think they're looking in the wrong places. And once again, it seems like the video game industry and gamers are under attack. In all honesty, we seem to be the whipping boys of all media. Whenever something goes really shittily wrong, it's gaming. Oh, gaming oppresses women. Oh, gaming leads to mass murders. Gaming desensitizes people. You can't really trust these politicians. Google this quote. There's some politician from the South who was saying that porn was more dangerous to society as a whole than guns. So that gives you a good idea as to where their mindset is. I've been watching porn for years, and my masturbation habits have hurt no one but myself emotionally and physically. How the hell is porn more dangerous than a gun? Oh well, I'm gonna get out of here for the time being because I really don't want to read any more articles from politicians who are basically shilling for the NRA. It's clear as day that these fuckers are being paid and they're pocketed and nothing's ever gonna get done. This is a lot of people's first taste of how the government really works. What you want doesn't matter unless you have money. And on that note, don't forget to smash that like button because the more of you that follow me and subscribe to me and all other bullshit, the louder my voice gets in the industry, the more respect I garner, the more likely I am to, I don't know, you get something that comes with respect. As I've never had respect before, I'm not quite sure what comes with it, but it looks pretty tasty. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel, join my Discord, join my Twitch, my Twitters. There might be a Twitch stream later today. I could be late for it, actually. And all the other good jazz and rigmarole. And on that note, I'm out of here. Adios, bichachos. The dog has to be played with because she keeps ruining things in my house, so I have to go throw a ball for her.